Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create weather app in MIT App Inventor. In this video, we are going to see how we can integrate the API in MIT App Inventor. So here we go. We can see this is our MIT App Inventor platform. So I'm going to just click on new project and my project name is weather app. Weather app new. Okay. I'm going to just use here the open weather map API. So first of all, open the openweathermap.org and then create account it's totally free of cost okay so i'm gonna use here the layout and i'm gonna use here the absolute arrangement layout that i love it now let's make it well parent like this with this will parent now you can drag and drop your component anywhere on the screen i love it now you can see i just want to add it here if you want to add it just like here anywhere i love it so now let, let me just delete this one I need that button to be here, okay? And I need one text box, okay? Where anyone can put the their, you know, the city name. Suppose I have one text box here. And suppose someone put here the New York, okay? And once they click on that button, so they can see the New York data, New York weather details in here, in the bottom. So I'm going to add the label, okay? So in the label, I'm going to display the details. I can display the label like here or I'm going to just copy paste like this. So I can display the data here. Like, so I can display that uh, city name and here the temperature, suppose current temperature. Okay. I'm going to just click on that button and first of all, change that name to something is like, uh, you know, the gate data something. Okay. Or no weather. Okay. Like this. And here, I'm going to just put that, click on that text box and make sure the hint, uh, hint is something like, uh, you know, you can put the city name. Like cool. This is now no weather. So I'm going to just change the background color of that button like this. You can design your app according to your requirement. Okay. So I'm going to just make it font bold. And in the bottom, I'm going to just change the text color to the white, something like this. Okay. Make it font bold and just make it 16 to look fine. Right. Cool. Now we have that uh, that text box where we can put the details and we have two labels here where I'm going to just display here the one in the city and another one is the weather. You can fetch more details. Okay. Now this is our API. Open weather map.org and then just use your current. Okay. Once you use this in the right side, you will see here the API, build an API request by the city name and just use this. So now we need to use that call. Okay, this one. Okay, so how we can use it? That just open the MI Cap Inventor here in the left side, and here the option of just just close this, and you can see the connectivity. Just call the web component here simply. Now go to the block section. Whenever someone click on the button, okay, button one, button one like this. So we need to call web API. So for that, just set the web URL first of all. The web URL, this one, just call it here. Okay. Now make sure you click on the text and we need to use here the join and we need to use here three parameters like one parameter I need to use here and that one is the uh, text value, text box one dot text. So whatever the city we put, that will get from here. Now we need to use here the two parameters, right? Like, so what will be there? They are, and these are like go to the here and you can see this is, so I'm going to copy till, copy till Q and equal. Make sure this one, okay, Q equal. I'm going to just copy the city, the, don't copy this, still copy this equal, go here and just use the text and just paste it here. This one, just paste it, got it, just paste it. Now, this will pass the city, okay, this is a dynamic city. Now, I'm going to just put another URL, so go here again, like this, and at the rate, like, sorry, the end percent API equal, still copy this. And just paste it here. Now I need to find the API. So how can I do this? So simply just go to your, you know, just account option. You can my API keys and copy your key here like this. Go App Inventor and just paste your API key there like this. Now we we call this. So make sure just call web and just call this web cat. Done. Now once you call this, so you will receive some data. So we got a response like this. So once we got a response, we need to convert that response to the JSON decode format. So for that, how we can do this? It's very simple is that like, first of all, I need to find the city. Okay. So the same city, what are we using here? Okay. That I need to display here. So simply, uh, I, I will still get that city from the API key. Okay. 
so go to the blog and in the label one so set label dot text this one here and that that uh, label i'm going to get it from the response like this what i'm going to do here i'm going to show you how response i will get okay what response i will get okay so i'm going to just put here the new york okay this and just copy my api key here and just paste it here and just enter and you can see i received that let me just print like this i will see this data of new york city okay so you can see i got the main as you can see i got the i got the temperature here that here i have everything right so i need to gather details so let's go to the app inventor again now first of all click on the click on the web list here okay click on the web here and you can see the json object decode this one call it here like this done now we need to call list view and you can see there's one option called the lookup here this one lookup here okay so we need to find the uh, find the name of the city so how can i do this so just call it here okay like this and this is our suppose the pair but what's the key we need to find so we need to find the city or maybe the name name of city like this okay so once we call this so we will fetch here go here and just find the name where is that you can see the name is like new york so we will receive the name of new york in this label one but i need to find the another one is the temperature so let me just find where is the temp so once you go temp you can see we we will get a temp under the main make sure this is under the main this is not a main temp if we will try to find directly temp we will not get it so under the temp this is okay so how we can get it so we need to call it two times okay so first we call like main here okay and after we fetch the main list okay this one so now we can call all these values okay so how we can do this so it's simply just call one more time look in pair and let me just delete this okay and here i'm going to just call temp and just call it here no no sorry in the second one this one and instant of pair i'm going to call this one no this is the code okay so first we are fetching the name second we are fetching the we are fetching the temp but how we can get it first we are fetching the main and after this we are getting the temp temp value that's it now in the label two that's it so this is our overall overall weather app okay so let me show you how this will work okay okay yeah, companion it's done as you can see here the uh here's our option like city name no weather and two values so let me just put the new york here okay in new york and just click on the no weather here you can see the city is new york and the weather is 286 okay so we receive the data is around 286 oh what's that so that is the kelvin value this is not uh, like so you can convert this so you can see the kelvin to this so this is something uh 286 okay so i'm gonna just convert it to 286 kelvin 286 kelvin so it's like 12.85 degrees celsius in the new york okay you can use that api or you can convert that calvin value to the celsius also so this is the overall app that we have created using the mid app inventor and this is really fantastic so if you have any doubt you can ask me comment thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day say bye bye